Look at the difference in quality. The left hand side is a PNG, the right hand side is a vector. Now what I'm going to do is share with you a currently free tool which will allow you to turn any coloring page or mid-journey coloring pages into vectors. Now what I'm going to do in this video is share with you a few different tools. The main one is going to allow you to turn your mid-journey coloring pages into vectors and as you can see it's going to make them much better quality. Now if we look at the eyebrow look at the difference once it's been turned into a vector. Now I've just got another example just here to show you as well. Here's another one. Look at the difference. Now honestly you're not really going to notice much difference if we zoom out and go like this you can see it's a little bit better quality but once we start zooming in let's do that a little bit more once we start zooming in you can really see the difference look at the eye look at that just a lot more crisp and much better quality so how did I do this well it's by using this tool this is vectorizer.ai now with all the websites and links which I'm about to share in this video I will also link them down in the description now this website is a image tracing software and it will allow you to turn your mid journey coloring pages into SVGs and it's currently free now I don't know how long it's going to stay free for but at the minute at the time of recording this you can come over and play with this completely for free now I am going to show you some examples in a minute but first there are a lot of image tracing softwares out there another one is this one vector magic now this isn't free at all you do have to pay for it I personally haven't used this one yet but I do plan on using it over the next week or so just to see what it's like and to see if it's better than this one. Now with me personally, when it comes to creating my coloring pages, I upscale them. And the majority of the time I use this website, which is bigjpeg.com. Now if we click on here, we can see that use this month, I've currently done 209 images. But with this new software, this vectorizer.ai, I will no longer need to use Big JPEG because again, this website is going to turn it into a vector, which is just much better quality. Now, if we come over to here, what we're going to do is take one of these coloring pages turn it into a vector and then upload it into Canva. Now the example that I'm about to show you isn't going to work when we upload it into Canva. So what I found is that not every single page that you turn into a vector will be able to be uploaded into Canva, but I'm going to show you a workaround. Now, all of these coloring pages which you see just here, I actually created them for a YouTube video. It was my last video, and if you want to come through and watch that, that's this video just here. Now, what I'll do is also link this down in the description as well. So, let's go ahead and download one of these. We're going to download this. Once we've got it downloaded, we can go over to vectorizer.ai. We can upload that into here, and it's just going to take a second to do its thing. And now that it's done its thing, we can see the difference in quality. Now, from here, we're going to click download, and once that's downloaded, we're going to go back over to Canva and try and upload that just here. Now, like I said, not every coloring page that you turn into an SVG will be able to be uploaded here in Canva. Now, I chose this one because I know that this one is not going to upload, but I do have a workaround for that. So stick around and please watch the rest of this video. See, we can see there's an error. It's not allowing us to upload, but we can come through and use this website just here. This is iloveimg.com. They actually have a lot of great tools. Now again, let's take this, let's upload that into here. And what this is going to do is compress the SVG. Now once that's uploaded, we can press compress image and it's going to do its thing. There we go, that's done, and now it's going to download, and now we should be able to upload back into Canva. So if we go back over to here, and now let's upload 
we shouldn't have any issues. And the quality is obviously still going to be there because it's an SVG. But there we go, first time using vectorizer.ai didn't upload but then using the other website which I just mentioned and which I will link down in the description we can now see we can upload that here in Canva so I found that this usually happens on more detailed pages and not the simple ones but now if we zoom in we can see just really good quality now the good thing about using SVGs is that you can just keep zooming in and it's not going to take away the quality as we can see just there now let's just do that let's just put that back on the screen let's just make this bigger like so to fit the page now if we zoom in we can see just really great quality so come through and try out vectorizer.ai as it's currently free, I don't know how long for, but you're going to be able to turn all your coloring pages into the vectors. Now, another tool that you're going to want is this one, and this is at vectornator.io. And this tool is also free. You do not have to pay for it at all. Now, with this tool, you're going to be able to edit your coloring page vectors. So, if we come over to here, let's click on this, like so. If we click on the SVG, it's going to open up. And then from here, because everything's an SVG, we can remove what we want from the pages. So, as we can see, every line and everything is its own individual element so if we click on here we can then remove that we can then remove this we could also remove that and then we could start removing these so this is just a real quick and easy way to clean up your images your coloring pages once you've turned them into vectors because again look we can just come in and delete it's very very simple now i'm in no way shape or form a pro at using this soft i still have to learn a lot but nonetheless this is going to be a great tool if you plan on using vectorizer.ai to turn your coloring pages into vectors so again come through give it a go and see what you think it is currently free like I've already stated and I will leave a link for this and all of the websites mentioned down in the description below. And if you liked this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also go hit subscribe as well and if you want to see the rest of my AI videos then click right here and watch this playlist.